All right, everyone, welcome back once again. It is Albert LaBelle, and it is package time. That's right, package time. I love package time. Uh, so this one right here, first and foremost, we got this one, and we got something else that's pretty special also. This one here comes to us all the way from Mr. Ballbeard himself. Ballbeard. If you haven't checked out uh, Ballbeard, please check him out. He's really cool. Uh, I like Ballbeard. Plus, he's got that cool kind of logo thing with the bald-headed guy with the beard makes sense doesn't it <laughs> ball beard first time I, I saw the little the little picture thing i don't know if i have one here hopefully there's one in the box but uh first time i saw it i thought wow that's freaking that's unique so let's see what we got here from mr ball beard i was actually just uh texting with him a couple minutes ago making sure i had his address right because i've got uh uh ball beard i've got uh challenge locks made for you and uh Lock picking gal is kind of new to the game. Lock picking gal, if you uh, see this video, um, I've got something for you uh, fixing to go out in the next day or two. I uh, also made you a challenge lock to try out. Don't know if you're up to par with that yet, but one way to learn. All right, let's see what we got from Ballbeard here. Make sure there's nothing. Doesn't, oh, cool, I think there is one. That's what I was talking about, yep. Is that cool or what? For Ballbeard? <laughs> I just think it's cool. It's unique. Oh, let's see what's that say. Oh, somebody's got a screw loose. It must be the name for the lock. Let me see. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, nicely done. Look at that bidding on that bad boy. Nicely done. Oh, and it's on a Schlage though too. I love me Schlage's. I'm going to have a good time with this. I love picking on Schlegs. I learned on Schlegs mostly, so that's, I love Schlegs. A lot of people don't like them, but uh, I don't so much like Yale locks, and uh, I know Bill Bacardi likes Yales, and I, I don't I don't see it. I don't know why he'd like those, but he's a he's a, a locksmith, so he's a lot better picker than I, I am. All right, Paul Beard, thank you so much for uh, pinning that one up. It is called again. Somebody's got a screw loose. I've got a screw loose, buddy. So you've got me pegged. All right, let's see what we got. There's something in a box here. Looks like that's stuffing down in there, so we can disregard that. Throw that down here. I'll reuse that stuffing. I usually do. Uh, we've got, let's see, the challenge lock, and we've got a... I'll look forward to seeing how you tension. Oh, boy. Really? What is it? Oh my God, yeah, that's a little teeny tiny keyway, man. Wow, compared to, let's see, this is your standard size keyway. My camera good? Yep, that's a tiny puppy right there, but you know what? I love a challenge. Now, if that's a stock, oh, I think he said it was a stock lock. I might play with this this evening when I get off of here. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. like it. Now, what do we got in the box here, Mr. Ballbeard? Uh, let's see. Looks like a key box. Not sure. It's definitely closed up well. For the uh, safe travels. Oh, keys? Sure the hell is. I've got a bunch of these too, man. But you know what? Are any of these SC4s? Looks like there might be a few. Cause that oh that says Abus. That's gotta be a Schlag. Yeah, it's a Schlag. It's gotta be a Schlag key. Yep, but it's an SC4. So there's a couple in here. It looks like mostly SC1s. It looks like so they're the uh, five pin, five pin size. Yep. I've got a whole bunch too. What I might do, Ballbeard, since I have um, Buku, I've got, let me show you. I've got a whole bunch. So what I might do, um, since you were so kind to share with me, I will share with others and uh, uh, pay it forward. So I'll share some of these with others also. So thank you very much for uh, sharing these with the community. That's, that's really cool. Really appreciate it fantastic um like i said uh ball beard uh i've got your uh challenge locks made i'll have a box um 
for you and lock picking gal out in the next uh, day or two. I should have them wrapped up tonight, so I maybe get them out tomorrow, but I don't want to promise that. Um, I've been so busy. Um, now I said I had something else special too. Um, I'm going to swing around and show you all the uh, Locks Without Borders collection again. Now Bears Back had sent one a while back, and uh, he just decided to change that up recently. He says, and I'm going to I'm going to quote his note, Bears Back. I'm going to quote your note. I would like to change out my lock on Locks Without Borders with this one. It's more like me, old and cool. That's his words. <laughs> and Bears Back, I'm old and cool too, bro, so I'm with you. So what he did was he sent in this freaking sweet, sweet. Oh, and he's got his little sticker in there too, by the way. Let me show it off for uh, Bears Back. Very cool. Very nice. So this is the beauty, old and cool. Look at that freaking puppy right there. Yale, it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that old timer right there, man. If this thing could tell a story, I would definitely listen. I mean, look at the key to it. It's just phenomenal. So you put the key in here, and the whole thing, when you put the key in, you actually push in on the key. That pushes that whole uh, what do you call it? The shackle, I guess, up and out. Just phenomenal. Really, really cool idea. I can't help but wonder, though, how much it would take. Now, this is an old lock. We've come a long way since then, but since only a little tiny bit of that goes inside there, I wonder what it would take to uh, get that up out of there. Well, no, you'd have to rotate it, too, though. Yeah, it's probably a lot harder than I want to think it is. So, Bears Back, thank you so much. And then I told him, I said, okay, I'll send you back the other padlock then. No, man, that's for you. Keep it. So I'll put his other lock with my personal collection. So, let me swing the camera around so you guys can see where we're at with the locks without borders again. So I like to show that as much as I can. I know you've all seen my workstation many times. My microphone boom and my LED panel. And we swing around over here. This is my workstation right here where the magic happens uh, for the most part. My personal lock collection. It's also growing. And see if I can back up enough to see them all. Locks without borders. Somebody gave me a hard time about the apostrophe next to the uh, between the K and the S, so I tried to cover it up. <laughs> uh, but anyways. That's where we're at. So what I'm going to do is Bear's Back's lock is right here. So I'm going to swap that out with the new one he just sent. So thank you very much, Bear's Back. I highly appreciate it. And I do need a couple of them. Um, if you noticed, I started putting the uh, mileage that the locks traveled to get here. I don't know if that's focusing on there. Let me see. Let's go up here to Dawes. See, I, I need the mileage from Dawes. If you see this video, I need the mileage from uh, Gordon Window. I need the mileage from Saspes and Jimmy Brooks up there. The miles from you to me. And I think Southampton Lock Picking Club. I need the miles for that too. But other than that, I think I got all the rest. So if you'd like to send the padlock in, I highly appreciate it. Any padlock. All right. Uh, I'm going to start doing uh, giveaways more often based on people that send in these padlocks. So uh, if you think I'm just looking for free padlocks, I'm not. All right. Thank you all very much. Uh, Ballbeard, thank you. Bears back. Thank you very much. Big Al signing out.